She has some tan lines that are the weirdest things I've ever I, seen. I brought five bikinis with me to Hawaii. All that, all And you can see every, <laughs> every, every day is a different shade on is, my is ass right now. the oddest thing I've ever I would I've show you, seen. but I'm an engaged woman. Thank you so, for having the respect. Not gonna show I think, you. you know what? Otherwise, I'd show you Honey, my ass. I give you my permission to show them your ass. Go ahead. Okay, so. Yeah, I give you, I give you. Hi, it's Tuesday and you're watching Tasty Tuesday. The show is Tuesday and trying to make something tasty so it works. Did you miss me? I'm back. I just got back from Hawaii late last night and I am very dark. Holy shit. Well, I got really burnt, which I never do. My ethnic is just really shining through right now. And then I got back to LA and it's cold here. What? When did that happen? When I got to Hawaii, it was cooler than it was in LA. And now it's freezing here. I'm wearing sweats right now. Look, check it out, Ute. So since I didn't have a lot of groceries and also because I just got back from Hawaii, I don't know if you guys are keeping up with my life. Like if you're not, how dare you? Go keep up with my life. But in case you weren't, Steve proposed to me in Hawaii. What? This dish I decided to do because it was actually the very first dish I ever cooked for Steve. It's kind of Hawaiian inspired. And by the way, it was the only dish I knew how to cook and I made it for him many times. Yes, you want to say something? I heard you talking about me. <laughs> I was talking about different Steve. Sorry, we're in love, it's gross, whatever. We'll enjoy it while it lasts before it ends probably in just a couple of short years, right huh? Probably, and then you can make a bomb ass cry video. Can't wait. Get it baby, get it, get it. Well, I basically, I didn't know how to cook before Tasty Tuesday. I accidentally stumbled upon this dish. I made it up. Like I just started throwing ingredients together and it ended up tasting really good. So it's pretty good. much that's all I would make. So I know it's gonna be tasty. However, I thought it'd be really nice for you guys to know about because in case any of you out there don't know how to cook, or broke as fuck, maybe want a quick dish to put together, all of those things were really useful for this dish. This is how you make it. Are you just gonna be an extra in this video? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna hang out. Anyway, I know it's gonna be tasty, but I wanted you guys to know how to do it, so let's Make this dish. First, we're gonna start with the rice. We're starting with the rice because it pretty much is the longest thing in the whole dish, which isn't very long at all. It takes about 20 minutes. By the time this rice is done, it will be about the time the chicken's done. And they'll all come together very nicely. You're welcome. I'm using botan rice. I'm probably gonna make it the Filipino way, which is you fill it up a cup or whatever. You fill it up to a certain amount and then you use just this line on your finger, on your middle finger for how much water to put in. But if you don't want to do it the Filipino way, I think it's a cup of rice for two cups of water. Do it! I also like to wash my rice a little bit. Some people don't do this, but I think it makes the rice taste better. To wash your rice, you just kind of rinse it a little bit, like you put enough water in there so that it covers the rice, and then you push your hands together like this, like you're, like you're trying to start fire with your hand. All right, now if you have a rice cooker, you just put it in the rice cooker. You plug the rice cooker in. Yep, good job. And then you just press the button. Super easy. If you don't have a rice cooker, buy a rice cooker. Next, we're gonna cook the chicken. So when I used to make this, I used to shop at Trader Joe's and I would buy the big, huge bag of frozen chicken tenderloins. Well, I think they're called tenderloins. The thin strips, the like these, the fillets, the like tenders. What, what are they called? You know, the thinner ones, not the whole breast. It's just easier to cook these. They cook faster, they cook in my opinion, more thorough because I don't know what I'm doing. But if you do buy the frozen bag, just defrost it in the microwave for like 10 to 12 minutes and then it should be good to go. You're welcome. Medium high heat. I'm not using cooking spray because I just don't. If you want to use it, you go nuts. With the chicken breast fillets, tender strips, gah, you could probably fit like five or six in a pan. They tell you not to crowd the pan. I've gotten that comment a lot. But you know what? Crap that motherfucking pan. Bitch! You're not a bitch. I'm so sorry, you're not a bitch. Now what I like to do is I like to take this fresh ground black peppercorn, the grinder thingy on the top, and just, you know, grind some pepper over that chicken, flavor it up. Do it! This is like the easiest dish ever. You're gonna make this all the time. It's so exciting. It's fall! Look at my boots! Fuck yeah! Just wait until there's like a white kind of rim around the chicken and then I flip it over. Okay, then you're gonna let this side cook until it's not translucent anymore, but also flip it before it burns on this side. I have no idea how to plan a wedding. If anybody has any tips on like where to start, what do you do first, where do you go? I was so wrapped up in the fact that Steve proposed to me that I totally forgot there was like a whole event attached to this that there's like an actual thing that happened. There's a wedding, what? Also, 
how many parties are you supposed to have? A bridal shower, and then like a bachelorette party. And then my friend was just like, are you having an engagement party? Like what? It's like a whole career planning a wedding. I guess that's why they made an industry around it. I just like really want to do a good job though. That's kind of how I invented this dish. Wow, good segue. I didn't know what I was doing. I just wanted to do a good job. Okay, when it's kind of like golden brown on that side, flip it over again. You're looking good, chicken. I'm hitting on you. That side's golden brown, flip it again. This is the last time we're flipping. Should be the fourth time. Wait, one, two. Maybe it's the third time. Excuse me. I think we're gonna flip it again. I don't know, I'm, I just kind of Go with my gut. The chicken's almost gonna be done cooking. So what we're gonna do is take the sauce. I got this soyaki sauce from Trader Joe's that I love. It's amazing, you don't have to do barely anything with it. It's like got all the right flavors. You could probably use any teriyaki marinade. Like Kikkoman has a marinade you could probably use. This one's really great, really bomb. Highly recommend it. So what I'm gonna do is shake it up and then just like pour enough in there so that they're all like there's a layer on the bottom that they're all kind of swimming in. Let's chicken swim. Okay, now while that's in the marinade, you're gonna flip them for the final time. I swear this is the last time. And you kind of just like wait till the chicken soaks up most of the marinade. If it looks like it's disappearing quickly, I would reduce the heat a little bit to like a medium low. That way it doesn't disappear. And then lastly, we're gonna add some pineapple chunks. I like the chunky ones. Crap, I didn't mean to get the kind in heavy syrup. Get the kind in its own juice. Why did I do that? Oops, don't do that. Get the kind in the juice, Why? Whatever you got, juice or syrup, drain it out of the can. And then just like add as many chunks as you want. You like a lot of pineapple? Add a lot of pineapple. You don't like pineapple? Why, why the hell are you making this dish, asshole? Make a different dish, voila. I like a lot of pineapples. I don't know if you guessed that. After you added your pineapples, mix them in there so they get all marinated in the soyaki sauce too. The pineapples kind of like marinate for, I'd say 30 seconds to a minute. I like pineapple so much that my favorite pizza is pineapple mushroom pizza. And in my October favorites video, I shouted out the Instagram bakery charms because I had bought my pizza ring from them and it was a pepperoni pizza and I said, man, if they had a pineapple mushroom pizza, that would be amazing. And then, they're so sweet. The owner, Jen, I think her name is Jen. She wrote me a card. She custom made a pineapple mushroom pizza ring. So cool. I don't know if you can see all the details, but it looks pretty legit. It looks exactly like a pineapple mushroom pizza. You're like what, who just does that? Anyway, shout out to Bakery Charms again. You guys are amazing. You are amazing. It's just one girl, not you guys. She's not an entity, it's a girl. You're amazing, thank you so much. This is amazing. Great, you're great. Wow, we beat the rice. I think my cooking skills are getting better. The rice should be almost done and then I'll show you what to do next. You just wait. Are you waiting? You don't have to wait that long because I'm probably gonna edit it to the next part. All right, the rice is done now. But now all we have to do is plate it up. You're gonna have to get down. So how I like to plate it to look like super pro chef is I put the rice on the bottom of the plate like a layer. You know, the power's in the presentation. Make sure it looks like super duper pro and people will think, whoa, you know how to cook? I didn't know that. And you'll just smile and nod because you'll know that you really don't know how to cook. Then you get like three things of chicken. Chicken, filet strip things, strip things, shrink when you cook them. So you can fit a good three on here. And then put however many pineapples you want. So you don't need to put soy sauce or anything else on the rice, you just drizzle some of this soy hockey sauce over the whole dish. And voila, that took a whopping 20 minutes. That's it. Most of it was just waiting for the dumb rice. If you want to add like a little something something on the top that'll make you really pro, toasted sesame seeds, hit it. Kick it up a notch. Is Emerald still around? Check it out, check it out, check it out. Professional looking. All right. All right. I'm excited about this. <laughs> Me this too. This is an old flavor, but a good one. An oldie, but a goodie. Uh, is there teriyaki on it? It's soyaki. soyaki. It's like a cross between soy sauce and teriyaki What flavor. do you call this, this meal? I call <laughs> it Nikki's broke ass, poor ass, doesn't know what she's doing, but it turned out good meal. It's a lot of... So you just search, they just search. Tastes like the first time meal. Does it taste like the first time or have my skills improved? Um This was this was what it was it two and a half years ago that I made this dish for him. It, 
It tastes exactly like the first time, which is because it's you nailed it back then because cool. it was so broke ass, poor ass, poor ass, bomb ass, bomb ass. Yeah, that you were doing it a lot. So it's tasty. It's very tasty. Yes, it's tasty and it's easy and it's fast. It's like those are the three things and it's cheap. Yeah, slap it high. I make new videos Monday through Friday. I'm back, Jack. That's to the one person out there named Jack that's watching this. If, if you want to see something made on Tasty Tuesday, leave it in the comments. I can't really talk sentences, but uh, I was thinking of making Thanksgiving side dishes for the next couple weeks until Thanksgiving. Let me know if you're into that. If not, then I won't. Or maybe I will. Um, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye! Our vaginas!